questions. Protesters began assembling before dawn in a downtown Washington park. This group, known as the Coalition of Communities Under Attack, is one of 12 that plans to peacefully block security checkpoints entering onto the inaugural grounds. Please take note of the people who are around you. They say their goal is to let the world know that the vast majority of people in the U.S. do not support Donald Trump. Ethan Miller is among them. Yeah, we're building a broader movement. We're bringing folks together who haven't necessarily organized together before here in Washington, D.C., largely local organizers. Um, but we're also, you know, we are, we are disrupting. We are making sure that, that this inauguration is not going to go off smoothly, that folks are not going to be able to celebrate, um, you know, the, the election. After receiving instructions, the group moves through the city in silence towards the security checkpoint. The coalition of communities under attack is comprised of Muslims, Jews, and immigrants, several groups that candidate Donald Trump attacked during his campaign. Sonia Hook is an American Muslim. I just felt like the stuff that was being said about our people during the campaign, it's, I can't forgive that, even though people are like, let's move on. I'm still uh, struggling with it. So. As the protesters set up their blockade near the checkpoint, police officers become alarmed, but allow them to continue. Trump supporters work their way around the protesters and stand in line to get into the inaugural grounds. Andrew Appler and his girlfriend, both Trump supporters, drove three hours from Yorktown, Virginia, to see the inauguration. Uh, well, we've been standing here for about 20 minutes and they just kind of popped up out of nowhere. They have the right to protest, they have the right to their, their opinion, you know. But I just think it's, you know, it's not going to accomplish anything. After 30 minutes, the protesters march back to the park where they started. I know there's one at 1030. There will be more protests throughout the day and into the evening, including a large rally in the afternoon that will feature a speech from filmmaker Michael Moore. Jeff Swicord, VOA News, Washington.